here is how you can calculate dissipation rates for bounces as well as dissipation in the air. We need to look for the time intervals, the energy lost, and then from that calculate the dissipation rate. You need to do this for three bounces for each ball and then repeat for dissipation for three flights for each ball. In this example, take a look at the coordinates for mechanical energy right before the first bounce and right after the first bounce. In this example, the first time interval is 2.6 to 2.85 seconds. The energy lost is 1.69 joules. Hence the dissipation rate is 6.76 watts. Repeat for two additional bounces keeping in mind that the time resolution introduces errors. To get the dissipation by the air, the time points are between right after the bounce to right before the next bounce. Repeat this for three flights. You will have four tables total, two for each ball, one table for bounces, three in a row, and one table for flights, three in a row for each ball. You must compare dissipation rates by air resistance versus dissipation rates by the floor, compare the results between the two balls, and analyze the trend of dissipation through the consecutive bounces.